levels, new levels, new levels. Okay, first one, Mullen, ticker symbol M U L N. Second one will be Veru, ticker symbol V E R U. Third one will be Antarian, ticker symbol A T E R. Giving you guys all new levels that we're looking out for. Big pullbacks on all these. Like I say, make sure you pay attention to the levels. They'll kind of tell you how price is moving. That's why I make the video for you guys to give you guys that much guidance on the next day of the market. Remember, Market is closed tomorrow. It opens up Monday. If you guys want me to go live tomorrow, let me know in the comment section. Just comment live. And if I get a lot of you guys, I'll go ahead and go live tomorrow, probably around like 10 a.m. Central Time, okay? I don't want to wake up too early. So let's get into it. Key levels. You guys know I got you. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. If you are new, my name is Will. I give you guys key levels in the market every day. So first one, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Ticker symbol M-U-L-N. This one is breaking the buying level. This is why I say, remember, when a buying level acts as a resistance, that is your sign we don't buy. Repeat, when a buying level acts as resistance, that is your sign we don't buy. What happened? Five minute chart, let's get to it. Buying level, $2.35. What happened here? What is that? Resistance, where is the resistance at? At the buying level, what does that tell us not to buy? pullback okay pay attention to the levels let's put all new levels on here for you guys like i told you guys when i buy this one i'm going to be buying it and holding it okay i'm willing to lose either 50 percent on the downside or i'm looking to make three times on the upside so for example say i put a thousand dollars here i'm either looking to lose 500 or i'm looking to make three thousand so you guys see the risk to reward that i'm kind of looking out for again do your own due diligence this is not financial advice mullet Key level I'm looking at, $2, right at that $2 mark. Right now, it closed about two twenty. It closed about two sixteen, up a little bit, probably like four cents or so after hours. We'll see how it opens on Monday, but $2, $2 even is the level that I'm looking at. Make sure you guys join the team. First link in the description, VIP would not be open up too long because I want to close it, and VIP's knowledge is just going to go crazy. All new videos, all new knowledge. You're going live with me in the markets. A lot of stuff is coming with VIP. Hope you guys are ready. So whenever it closes, just be mindful, okay? Regular signal will be open. VIP will be closing. So make sure you join. First link in the description. My main buying level, $2. Where I receive resistance at is about $2.40. What I'm looking at now, I'm going to buy a long term. So I'm looking to hold, remember, losing 50 or make it times three. But I'm also looking to play it shorter term. So shorter term will give me about a 20% gain. And then that profit will minimize, say if I lose 50% on my long, I'm making 20% here on the scalp, 20% here, 10% on the scalp. So it'll kind of even it out, right? So we'll kind of be playing it like that. I do think a big move will come on here, especially when the news comes out of who bought the vans, right? If that's real, who bought the vans, especially if it's like Amazon or something, this one's going to go crazy. It's probably going to gap up a lot. So I want to make sure I'm in before that happens. So these are the next two levels I'm kind of looking out for right now on Mullen. Second one, Baru, ticker symbol, B-E-R-O, B-E-R-U, my bad, I think I said O, B-E-R-U, this is one I'm also looking at now, B-E-R-U, remember I gave you guys some levels to look at today, and what happened, was looking at that $14 range, before this level was here, as buying pressure, when it dropped down here, buying pressure came in, right where I respected it, if you're in a Discord group, you know, I called it $14 buying pressure, it shot up. Did we buy? No, I didn't. Look how it dropped. As fast as it went up is as fast as it came down. A lot of people would have bought here holding it, thinking it's just going to go to the moon, not knowing where to exit, and then you get trapped, right? We do not want to get trapped. All new levels, especially since it fell today, I think I'm going to move my level from 15. I think I'm going to put my level at about $14.60. So $14.60 is the new level that I'm looking out for here, okay, $14.60, that's what I'm kind of looking out for now, exit, we can still keep the exit at about $17 or so, so that'll be looking at about a 16% gain, well, I'll still have, and then I'll kind of let the other half run, I want to make sure I go ahead and uh, lock in those profits, and then I let the other half kind of take off and do its thing, okay, make sure you get your Will Knowledge merch, www.willknowledge.com, make sure you go support the merch, when it drops, when it sells out, I'll be releasing all new designs, okay, and also, make sure you get your Momo account. Second link in the description, once you deposit some money, you get up to six free stocks worth $17,000. And 
You also get a chance to win a free share of Apple. Free share of Apple. You can literally hold that free share forever and it'll make you money. Apple is one of the biggest companies in the world. Okay, so make sure you do that. Second link in the description. Get your Momo account. I am sponsored by Momo. Third one. A-T-E-R. A-T-E-R. Fanantarian. Let's make this a little bit bigger also. Let me put that there. A-T-E-R. This one, all new levels for this one. Buying level actually did get hit, but it was late. So look, gave you guys a resistance level, $6.25. Buying level, $5.25. Notice how the low was about $5.35. This was the move that I was kind of looking for. Did not give it entry. Okay, that is fine. But also what I see now is I see a bigger level. So usually when I see my levels hit like this, like my buying levels hit, resistance comes in, it makes me see the place easier because now I know how the stock is moving, okay? So this is actually a good thing. Resistance, hit perfect, boom. Tried to break through it, failed. Came back up, hit it perfect, okay? Look at the high of this candle. High of the candle, level I gave you guys, $6.25. High of this candle, $6.25. Pullback. That right there was a clear sign, do not buy this one. Came up, tried to fake people out. I'm pretty sure people bought on this thinking it's gonna go back up. Crash down. Look where the crash stopped at. Buying level, okay? And went higher. So take these off. That's why I said I try to give you guys key levels every day. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you are new. All I ask for, get this video over 150 likes. One, five, zero. Get this video over 150 likes. All I ask for, thank you guys for love on the channel. So new levels and to A-T-E-R. New buying level is about $5. Five dollars. Where is it at? Five dollars and fifteen cents. Again, make sure buying pressure confirms. That's why I say join the team. First link in the description if you want to know if those levels confirm. Because all you have to do is join. We have a Discord room and you have a chat room and you just ask me, tag me. Is this level confirming? I'll let you know. So just make sure you join. Buying level right around five dollars fifteen. First exit, I'll probably be on the safe side and say about six. Six dollars. That's why I'll probably look to take that first exit out. That's about 16%. And then after that, we'll kind of let that rest run. Okay. Probably run. Let me check that we have some bigger resistance. Okay. Yeah, it did hit a big resistance around like 650. Next resistance. Oh man, we could really go up to about $8 or over. So I'll sell a little bit here because I feel on that next push, we could go up to about $8. Okay. That's kind of where I see the next resistance to come in around that $7.50 range, around there. That's where I see the next resistance. So we could get some push after this one. So I'll sell a little bit here. I might not even sell any if that selling pressure looks weak. So if I just see like a little selling pressure and I think it's gonna blow up, I'll just hold it. But if I start to see some little heavy selling pressure come in, I will sell it, okay? So hope you guys appreciate the video. Thank you guys for being on the channel. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.